yeah, we don't, we, we don't like that stuff. We want to stand against that stuff and protect our kids. And because of that, a mass shooting is our fault. That's their logic. That's when Sonny Hostin chimed in saying that not only is it our fault, but that Jesus himself would actually be the grand marshal of a pride parade. Watch. Self-righteousness, which might seem kind of evasive when you look at it, is the division of people. It is looking at someone else and focusing on their differences and you being better than them. There are a gazillion quotes in the Bible about how wrong that is. I was raised to love thy neighbor and we are not the judge. There is a power that has that power. There is a place for that. But we are here to be inclusive and you'll never find a more inclusive place than a gay bar. I've Jesus would be the grand marshal at the pride parade. I don't mean I about really, gay really people. I mean in that. every argument we have. But here's you can't weaponize religion. religion. Here's my religion, question. But it's wrong. Mm -hmm. If you're so afraid, why are you going over there? Yeah. If they scare you so much, leave them alone. When stuff scares me, I leave it alone. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to be bothered, I don't go there. See, that's the problem. You don't want to just have your feelings. You want everybody else to join you. And you know what? You can, you can scream, you can cuss, you can do all the things that you say. But you know what? Gay people are here. They're not going anywhere. There is nothing you can do. You know, you can yell and scream. But, you know, as as the Lord, as everybody was talking about, you know, made in God's image. Yep. <sighs> Jesus was inclusive. Come on. I am so sick and tired of people who know nothing about Jesus or Christianity and could care less about Jesus or Christianity trotting Jesus out as their unsolicited yes man to their pagan ideology and godless lifestyle. The whole It's so uh, abhorrent and blasphemous, like I said. Joining me now to weigh in on this is director at MRC TV, Eric Shiner. Eric, Jesus uh, to the left is just some trendy yes man who loves everybody and he wore a peace sign necklace and was smoking a joint. That's their idea and understanding of Jesus. Uh, be a, he would be a marshal, grand marshal at a pride parade. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I guess if you work with Whoopi Goldberg, who was in Sister Act, you are instantly a theologian. It's, uh, you know, it's like six degrees of separation here. Yeah, you're instantly a theologian and you can come to these conclusions. But, you know, this is what they do. Uh, they say, hey, the right is religious, so I'm going to try to turn their religion against them. And they don't really think about it. They don't comprehend these things. Um, I mean, this this particular attacker uh, in the in Colorado Springs, you know, had a bomb threat against his mother that we learn what's Christian about that. Basically, the view is about anti-Christian bigotry. Anytime they see something bad that they think they can blame on Christians, they do so, they invoke the name of Jesus, and they go forth and do it. We have no evidence. We don't know the motive for this. We yep. have no That's idea right. why this individual did this attack, but they are sure that it's based in Christianity. That's the anti-Christian bigotry. Why would you jump to the conclusion that somehow this was an act of someone who had faith? Um, we have no evidence of that, but that's what the media does. In fact, if you just remember last week, uh, Christopher Ray who I have a lot of issues with. The head of the FBI was testifying before the Senate, and th he says the media is misconstruing what the FBI does. He says 70% of the acts of violence that they are investigating post the Dobbs decision are violence against pro-life centers, Christian centers, faith-based mm -hmm. centers. Yep. The violence tends to be on the other side, but they don't want to accept that. They want to paint it and paste it on Christians. Well, and it's because the view and the panelists on the view, they, they, they hate Jesus. They hate Christianity. If they had an iota of understanding of the, the traditional, uh, traditional Christendom, uh, they, they would vocally say that they hate Jesus and hate Christianity. They'd say it almost verbatim. Now, uh, another thing I want to get to on the topic of, of all the, the LGBT theme, MSNBC's Joy Reid says that it's sad that the GOP wants to ban drag shows and that the GOP can be should be ashamed. She's trying to insist that there's no uh, sexually explicit content at drag shows. She uses a really terrible example. Let's play that. I don't think most people have ever seen one. I've been to one with kids there, with like kids there. I want to show you guys what drag queen story hours look like because there was a drag show at, that was supposed to be at this club uh, when this attack happened. I just want those who don't know what they look like to see what one looks like. This is cut two. Please play this. 
the hair. So a lot of drag queens have really big, big, big hair. So the hair on the drag queen goes up, up, up. So you can put your hands on your head like this and go up, up, up. So the hair on the drag queen goes up, up, up. It, it makes me sad, Brandon, that that scares right wing people so much that they would try to ban it or your governor sued people over it. And then people act surprised when there's violence against people who are trans and LGBTQ. Your thoughts? So that that example of a drag queen just sitting there on like a Zoom meeting is what she uses as an example. Of, see, drag shows are family friendly. Here's a picture of a drag queen. Look, see, family friendly here. Nothing to see. Eric, I've had you on plenty of times. We've played plenty of clips of drag queens uh, who have clips on this show of drag queens flashing their genitals. We've had to blur the stuff out because it's not even appropriate for the adult audience to see. And uh, that's really what goes on at those drag shows. Joy Reid doesn't want to talk about it. Well, no, and, and of course she uses the sanitized reading, uh, like a zoo, like you said, like a Zoom meeting at the library, but it, it goes into the context of what you said at the kickoff of this segment. If you object to kids uh, in first grade, second grade, kindergarten, going to drag shows, well then you're responsible for the type of violence that we saw in Colorado Springs. That, you know, that's that's the intellect at work here that they're using is that, well, if you disagree with us here, you, you're responsible for the violence. There's no connect uh, in in reality. You can say, I don't think first graders should be going to drag time story hour. And it doesn't mean that you're promoting violence on a community. Uh, but they want to go to the extreme to paint everyone as an extremist. And this comes down from the top. Don't forget, you know, Joe Biden did that big speech in Pennsylvania where he said, everyone who's against me is, is a MAGA and they're an extremist. And, uh, you know, if you don't agree with me, you're an extremist. This is what the left is doing. And it's another example of how they're doing it in the media.